It was the end of the summer as we drove down to Devon, stopping at Oakhampton Station for lunch in the station buffet that could have been a film set for a brief encounter. The station has been restored to its full retro glory with old-fashioned locomotives to take you on a trip up the line with scenic views of Darton. But that was all a bit tame for the boys, so we booked them in with Adventure Oakhampton, who operate from the station, and they were off for a bit of gorge scrambling. Although it was August, they were well kitted out with wetsuits and helmets for the bracing mountain river. We watched from the bank as they played in the water like seals. They were having so much fun I was almost tempted to join them. After the boys had finished their wet and wild Dartmoor experience, it was on to Woodovis Park where we were staying for the weekend. I'm at Woodovis Park near Tavistock in Devon. It's a small five star campsite where you can bring your tent or your caravan or stay in one of the mobile homes like we're doing and have a really relaxing family break in the green Devon countryside. We thought our two-bedroom mobile home was pretty comfy, and by the time I put the kettle on for a nice cup of tea, the clotted cream fudge they'd left for us had practically disappeared. It didn't take long for us to settle in and make the place our own. We were all easily accommodated with parents in the double bedroom and boys in the twin room, with one on the sofa bed. Then it was time to have a good look round Bordeaux's Park. There are quite a few mobile homes and a large field for motorhomes, caravans and larger tents. But for something a little more cosy, I hear that the camping pod and teepee are very popular with newlyweds. Woodovis has a friendly family field where children can wander around safely. There's games room with plenty of information on things to do in the area. We really enjoyed a swim in the indoor pool and spa, which is popular for all ages and has a jacuzzi and infrared heat cabin. If you fancy a croissant for breakfast with your campfire coffee, then put in an order at the shop where the bread is freshly baked each morning. Here you go, young man, on the bottom just in case. Right. The next day we made the most of the good weather with a walk on the moor. I'm on Dartmoor and we've walked up from the village of Peter Tavy. The scenery is wild here and on a sunny day the views are just amazing. We plotted our route carefully so we wouldn't get lost, noting all the landmarks along the way. There's always something to see out on the moor, whether it's Technicolor sheep, quad bike cowboys, and you can always take the chance to practice your map reading. We jumped over the river and made our way down the hill again, with views over the valley and the church spire of Peter Tavy leading us on. Now you know that every walk on Dartmoor has to end with a good pub lunch and we found ours at the Peter Tavy Inn. The weather can be changeable on Dartmoor but you must try a walk up to the granite tours that are dotted all over the moor. Keep a look out for the Dartmoor letterboxes, the hidden containers with a book for you to leave your name and a stamp so that you can prove you were there. Staying at Woodovis Park we could experience the wild side of Dartmoor but always have a comfortable base to come back to after our blustery walk on the moor. <laughs>